um, I would like to welcome our principal, Ms. Atamos, new and returning teachers, new students, and returning teacher and returning students to this year's Teachers' Choice Awards. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this event. Thank you. Thank you, Amalia. Now, the first vice president, Mr. Jonathan Green. Hello, good afternoon, all. My name is Jonathan Green, the first vice president, the first vice president of the council. I am here to bring you greetings on behalf of the president and all the executive members. I implore that you stick around and I hope you all have a wonderful and prosperous day. Thank you. Turn back over to Ms. Fullerton. Now, the part that I, I don't know if everyone is excited as I am. Now we have our first item by Samoya Harrison. Please give her a warm round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Samoya Harrison. And I just want to say happy Teacher's Day to all the teachers that are present now. And I'm going to sing a song for you guys. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. And you can find the fighter. But I see in you, so we gonna walk it out and move. Mountains, we gonna walk it out and move. Mountains and our rise up, our rise of the day, our rise up, our rise on the fray, our rise up and out to the thousand times again. And I rise up high like the waves. I rise up in spite of the end. I rise up and I do the thousand times again for you, for you, for you, for you. For you and I rise up, I rise at the day, I rise up, I rise all the fray, I rise up and I'll do a thousand times again, and I rise up. I let the waves arise up in spite of me. I rise up and I'll do a thousand times again. For you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Thank you, everyone. Well done, Samaya. That was wonderful. Now we will have a reflective movement from our students' council president, Mr. Mark Bryan. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Ben Brown, and I don't want anything to be left out out of all my teachers. Um, excuse me, can whoever has their um microphone? Well, 
All right, so sorry about that. Um, so I was saying I don't any teacher to feel um, left out. I love all my teachers, whether they teach me or not, because they are, you know, educating the, the, the nation's children. So they'll forever have my respect and appreciation. However, there is, there is a, 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 a teacher that, you know, make their mark differently. And I'm just here to, you know, share that moment. So firstly, um, Mr. Hills, uh, when I was in grade 10, I was really struggling with um, physics, getting grades with 14%, 10%. And uh, when Mr. Hills came on, he got both grades in almost 10 months. Yeah. He, stayed us with us. he stayed with us the entire grade 11. Late after events, every teacher in my cohort can actually tell you that when they see me leave school, or when they see my cohort of grade leaving school, we're actually in the lab. In the lab, finishing up labs are, you know, doing some discussions. Whether you are a physics student or not, Mr. Hills will actually come and assist you. He'll actually indulge you in a very meaningful conversation. So I'm here today as Mr. Hills, one of Mr. Hills' finest students. Right, and uh, I almost, almost clock one with straight A's and examinations because of Mr. Hills, and I'm so happy for that, and I'm forever grateful for Mr. Hills, and I say today, um, especially for those who can't make it to actually say it to him, thank you, Mr. Hills. Thank you a lot. You are greatly appreciated and you mean a lot to us and you have all of us respect and support. Thank you again, Mr. Hills and happy Teacher's Day, everyone. I love you all accordingly and just the same. Sorry Don't about that, everyone. Uh, we will now have another reflective moment by Jackie Tolo. Is everybody hearing me? Yes, we are. Okay, so I just want to say happy Teacher's Day to all the teachers. You know, I love you all. Even though I don't know everybody, but I love you all. And Yes, and but today you now, my special greeting is for Mr. Warren and the Dean, of course. They have been a big support to me throughout grade seven to 10 right now. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I would probably give up on school and everything, especially Mr. Warren is always pushing me and telling me that I can do my best and I should do my best. Course. I just want to say, sir, big up yourself. You know, I love you always. And even the little things matter, you know, probably not talk every day, but even the little things matter. And just want to say happy teachers again to everybody, but Mr. Warren, 
Mr. Warren and the Dean, Ms. Howell, yes, you guys deserve it all today. Thank you. Okay, Jackie, thank you. Now we will have our second item will be a playing of a poem by Amoy Barnes. You are so much more than just a teacher. You are a counselor and a psychologist to a problem-filled child. You are a police officer that controls a child gone wild. You are a travel agent scheduling our trips for the year. You are also a confidant that wipes a crying yes. child. You are a banker collecting money for a ton of different things. You are a librarian showing us adventures in every textbook you bring. You are a custodian that has to clean up certain little messes. But you're also a psychic that learns to know all that everyone only guesses. You are a photographer keeping track of every child's growth. When mother and father are gone for the day, you become both. You are a doctor that detects when a child is feeling sick, but you're also a politician that must know the laws and recognize a trick. You are a party planner for holidays, celebrating with all. You're also a decorator of a room, filling every wall. You are a detective solving small mysteries and ending all suspense. You're also a news reporter updating on our nation's current events. You are a clown and a comedian that makes every child laugh. You're also a dietitian, assuring that every child has lunch or from yours you would give them half. When we seem to stray from our values, you become a preacher. But I am proud to have these people around me because I am proud to call you guys my teacher. Happy Teacher's Day to the teachers at Frankwood High School. We love you and we appreciate you and we thank God that you are a part of our lives. Keep strong during COVID time and continue to keep safe because we need you guys no more than ever. Enough love and respect from Amway. That was so wonderful, wasn't it? So now we will be having the presentation of the certificate <laughs> by <laughs> Abigail <laughs> Wisdom.
What? The Franklin High School Students Council Awards Mr. Milton Hills for his outstanding services, dedication, and commitment to the students of the Franklin High School. Franklin High School Student Council Award Ms. Ballone. Colonna Beckford for her hard work, cheerful personality, and versatile work ethics. The Franklin High School Students Council awards Ms. Anna K. Williams for her passionate personality traits, creativeness, and positive work attitude. The Ferncourt I Student Council Award, Mrs. Michael Gentles, Gentles for her dyna, dy, dynamic, treat, dynamic teaching method, humorous characteristic trait, and kindness. The Ferncourt High School Students Council awards Ms. Juliet Ellis for her exciting presence, disciplinary traits, and ambitious nature. The Ferncourt High School Student Council Award Mrs. J. Franklin Bailey for, uh, for always being passionate and caring to the students of the Ferncourt High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Ms. Jade Cross for always being passionate and caring to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Student Council award Mr. Connell Brown for always being resourceful and engaging to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Ms. Rachel Hayden for her commendable teaching ethics and lovable nature towards the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Student Council awards Ms. Talia Wisdom for her commend commendable teaching ethics and loving nature towards the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Ms. Trudy Williams for her outstanding services, dedication, and commitment to the students of the Fern Court High School. The student, the Fern Court High Student Council awards Ms. Denise Gard for being passionate and caring to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Mrs. Allen Reed for her exciting presence, disciplinary traits, and ambitious nature. The 
the Friend Court High School Student Council Award, Miss N. Foster, for being understanding, passionate, and caring to the students of the Friend Court High School. The Friend Court High School Students Council Awards Ms. L. Jefferson for her, for her understanding personality traits, energetic presence, and caring nature. The Friend Court High Student Council Award Mrs. P. Aris Bryan for the sacrifices extra hours and dedication she has contributed to the students of the Ferncourt High School. The Ferncourt High School Students Council Award Mrs. McCorm Ms. McCormack for the countless times you serve your positivity and share pounds of love to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern High Student Council Award Ms. Jenna Waite for being jovial, considerate, kind, and a wonderful counselor to the students of the Fern Court High School. You want my ice cream? The Fern Court High School Students Council, rightfully, Mrs. R. Lati Oliver, for being kind hearted, considerate, and thoughtful to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School, High School Student Council Award, Mrs. Sharon Grant, for being attentive, easygoing, and caring to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council Awards Ms. Kalesia Shippey for her commendable teaching ethics and caring for the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council Award Ms. L. Watson for being passionate, uplifting, and a wonderful motivator to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Students Council Awards Ms. Patricia Clark for being passionate, inspiring, and understanding to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Student Council Award Mrs. Green for a The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Mrs. Whittingham Francis for her funny personality trait, encouraging aspect, and caring nature. The Fern Court High School Student Council award Miss D. Williams for the countless time you serve your positivity and share pounds of love to the student of. The Fern Court High School's Students Council Awards Miss Murray for her commendable teaching ethics and caring to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High The Fern Court High School Students Council awards Mrs. Townsend for being kind hearted, considerate, and thoughtful to the students of the Fern Court High School. The Fern Court High School Student Council award Ms. Mrs. 
the Fern Court High School Students Council awards Mrs. Wilra McKenzie for the sacrifices, extra hours, and dedication she has contributed to the students of the Fern Court High School. All right, um, so guys, even if you weren't um, awarded, we love all the teachers just the same. You mean a lot to us, and this was solely um, from the students. So big up, and we want this to be a traditional tradition. So guys, congratulations, happy Teachers Day. I hope this gave you extra encouragement and extra love. The ones who didn't get award, we love you just the same. All right, and now we'll have the great STEM representative, Ms. Nicolene Camp, who will give you new, the Big Up segment. Good evening, everyone. My... Hearing me? Okay, so good evening, everyone. My name is Nicolene Campbell. I'm a grade seven student, the grade representative for grade seven and the collaboration and sponsorship committee chairman. Teachers' Choice Awards. The event coordinating committee is a subdivision of the Students' Council that is mandated to plan and propose initiatives and activities for the council. The student council would like to wish all the teachers at the Fern Court High School a happy Teachers Day. On this day, we would like to highlight and celebrate our caring and hardworking teachers. Do enjoy these heartwarming messages from your students. Okay, so the teacher I will be doing first is Miss Brian. Is Miss Brian here? Is Miss Brian here? Present, Miss. Present, Miss. Okay. So the comments are as follows I love Miss Brian so much. She always helps her students understand things better. She can be a little hard on us sometimes, but it's only because she wants us to do our best. The next one, she always motivates me and tell me that I am bound to be someone great. She always makes time for her students. There is never a time in a day she wants to go the extra mile for her students. She has always been there for me. And though we have ups and downs, she would always be in class with me and make sure I got everything done. She's always encouraging us to do our work. She would do anything and everything to ensure the success of her students. We love and appreciate appreciate her. Last, I love Miss Brian. She cares and understands her students. She can be a little harsh sometimes, but always pushes us to do our best. Thank you, Miss Brian. Next. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Next, Miss Franklin Bailey. Is Miss Franklin ba Bailey here? Mm 
Is she here? Yes, I am. Okay. So the comments are as follows. She is the most welcoming and understanding teacher. Next, this teacher has been a rock, rock to us students. She supports us in everything we do, both with schoolwork and otherwise. It is very obvious that she doesn't only do her job for the money. She's a genuine teacher. Love you, miss, from TC. Okay. So, Miss Franklin Bailey is always doing her best to make sure we understand our lessons in class, whether online or face to face. She always make making sure that we are motivated and encouraged to do our best. And she's always reminding us that we all have the potential to accomplish our goals, especially through this pandemic. Also, sometimes she'll have a one-to-one -one talk with the students and we'll have our funny moments, which is just great. Next, the other day, Miss, Mrs. Bailey sent a beautiful voice message telling her students how much relate, rela relatable sorry, we are to plants. Because if a plant can become wither and grow again, so can we. Therefore, we shouldn't lose hope. I believe she uplifted a lot of her students and that is exactly the love and support we need from our teachers. Next, Mrs. Bailey will go the extra mile to ensure, Mrs. Bailey will go the extra mile to ensure that her students know that they are loved and they can do it if they put their minds to it. She is a God-given one, and I'm happy that she's one of my teachers. XOXO D. And that is for Miss Franklin Bailey. Thank you. Mr. Hills. Okay. So, his classes are never boring. He gives the students breaks and don't overflow us with work he is a jovial and a very nice person mr hills incorporates fun into our learning we love that next with mr hills online classes are always fun the heartwarming moments is always the greeting Sorry, the heartwarming moments are always the greetings at each start of the class. He pays so much attention to who's enter the class just to make sure no student is missing. Mr. Hills, make, Mr. Hills makes me feel safe and I really appreciate him. Thank you for being an understanding and a good teacher. And that's it for Mr. Hills. Thank you. Ms. McCormack. Is Ms. McCormack here? Is Ms. McCormack here? She's hearing you, Nicolin, but she's having some problems with her device. Oh, okay, I'll go ahead then. She is a very nice teacher and she teaches well. Next, I remembered when I was really down in all different type of ways, especially financially. And Miss McCormack helped me through it. And words can't explain how much I love her. Knowing that this, pandemic is hard on everyone 
but she looked beyond that and helped me. Hashtag best teacher ever, hashtag best form teacher. So that is from one of her form students. Okay, so Miss Shippy. She is a great teacher. She helps students understand assignments better than any other teacher do, and she's caring. Miss Smith, she is a nice teacher. She pushes me to do better. Miss Waits, she is kind and generous, and she is a wonderful counselor. Miss Williams, she will go over a topic as many many times to make sure we understood the topic. Miss Miss Cross. Miss Cross knows how to get her work from us and in various ways. She always find a way to make sure sorry she always find a way to make you happy while while we stress over online school just when entering her class the good morning you get makes you forget about the many work you have i asked her once to give a motivational speech in five seconds and the response I got brought me to be successful in her class upon today. Miss Gentles. Okay. So the most heartwarming moment was when I was having difficulties logging, logging to online classes and she was there every step of the way to guide me through. In addition, she's very encouraging to her students during form time. And that is coming from Miss Monroe in 7N. Mr. Coneal Brown. I love when Mr. Brown plays fun games to understand the topic we are about to do and he teaches very well so that his students can understand. Mr. Hardley, I would assume, the best teacher on earth. Miss Foster, I'm going to miss you. Miss Smith, she is a nice teacher and she pushes me to do better. Mr. Warren, Mr. Warren, I would like to say thank you, sir, for always being there for me. I really appreciate it. Enough love. Mr. Hill, Miss Campbell, Miss Murray. They will never give up trying to help you understand even if they have to teach it 100 times. Miss, Miss, Mrs. Allen Reed, Mrs. Kinlock, and Miss Hayden, I appreciate all your help. I love you all and may God continue to bless you. Mrs. Mrs. or Miss Hayden, Miss Wilson, Miss Ellis, and Mrs. Allen Reed. Continue to do your best in what you're doing. Miss Foster, Miss Brian, and Miss Jefferson. These three teachers are always encouraging me to push forward and never give up. Mr. Hills, 
and Miss Waits. They are always fun and considerate. Mr. Hills and Miss Shippy. Mr. Hills and did I? Oh, Mr. Hills and Miss Shippy. Yes, Mr. Hills and Miss Shippy have been doing a wonderful job. You guys have patience and consideration for your students. Mrs. Sharon Grant and Miss Beckford. Both of them are always sweet and loving. Miss Williams and Miss Shippy. Making sure class is fun and educational at the same time. Miss Woolery, she is always encouraging me to do my best. Now, the following teachers, students left your name with no message, but also would like to give you a shout out. So the names are as follows. Miss Willie, Mr. Forrest, Mrs. Townsend, Miss Gardner, Miss Reed, Miss Williams, Miss Morgan, Miss Beckford, Mr. Rose, Miss Woolery, Miss Foster, Miss Clark, Miss Oliver, Oliver, Miss. Trudy Williams, Miss Shippy, Mr. Hales, Mr. Heinstein, Miss Ellis, Miss Whittingham, Miss Bury, and Miss Gareth. And this is the end of the big up segment. Thank you guys for listening. All right, thank you so much, uh, Miss Campbell, Miss Nicolin Campbell. You did well. Again, congratulations to all the teachers that get big up. You all did well. We are uh, you are all appreciated. You are all in our hearts and in our mind, and we just appreciate you a lot. At this time, I'll ask Miss Duncan Shaninka Duncan for her item, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Miss Shaninka Duncan. Um, Excuse yes, me, but... one minute, Kamar. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, there's a message here for Miss Watson. Okay. Can I have a moment to read it, please? Sure, sure. I sure. forgot. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Okay. So, Miss Watson isn't just a teacher, but a friend, a big sister and a great motivator and counselor. I can recall missing a few classes online and she made the effort and time to redo some of those classes. She is not one of those teachers who is judgmental or biased. She sees potential in every student and puts out her best to help them. I can recall having a conversation with her pertaining to teaching. I said to her, if I should teach, I would want to teach only the bright students because I can't really bother with the slow ones. Her response was, no, Pastor, I rather. I don't know what I'm gonna say about teach across. I don't know what happened to my mic. What were they saying? Pardon. Okay, I'll continue. Her response was, "No, I rather to teach the ones that are slow, or at least trying to learn." That statement said a lot. Many teachers can't bother to teach students who shows no interest in learning or those students who are slow learners. 
but those are mostly the ones she likes. She will put in her time even when the teaching sessions is over just for her students to do well. She's also the teacher whom you can text hours in the night and she's right there to respond. The question is, is she Google that that is always available? No, rather she is loving, caring, non-judgmental teacher who loves all her students and work hard to see them succeed. Thank you. Wow, just wow. All right, at this time, Ms. Shanika Duncan will, you know, give her um, presentation. Um, I ask you guys to just sit back and relax to be blown away. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I will be doing a poem. I am Kanika Duncan, and I will be doing a poem entitled My Teacher. That was written by me. Um, there are a lot of things I hate about high school. I hate the fact that I have to go there. I hate the fact that these hallucinations that I'm alluding just always seem confusing because my illusion just never add up. But my teacher is a superhero to save the day. My teacher is a ray of light that shines behind and before the day to save the day. My teacher is a masterpiece. She is magnificently designed and enriched with soil of love, watered with patience, and is blossoming with hope. My teacher isn't always perfect, but who does? We're all humans. My teacher is just a human who works like a robot, who operates like a van. My teacher is the best. My teacher is a type of teacher who likes to be a teacher. He is the one who is always on time, even though we don't always want him to be on time. My teacher is fantastic. My teacher is a loser. He and she and they lose sleep just to stay to see if I'm okay. My teacher is a loser. My teacher is a loser. My teacher is a loser because she loses time with her family, working late at night instead of spending time with her family. My teacher sacrificed herself. I mentioned all that, I said that, and I'm saying this because today is Teacher's Day and I want all the teachers out there to feel like it's really their day. So happy Teacher's Day. Bye, Shanika Duncan. Thank you. Guys, I want you to, to, to clap wherever you are. That, that was wonderful, just wonderful. Um, that's supposed to make that's supposed to make your heart. Well done, Miss Anika Duncan. That was really lovely. I hope the teachers really felt that deep, very deep. Again, happy Teachers Day. At this time, we'll have the assistant grade eleven representative and the deputy chairman of the welfare committee coming to to introduce today's guest speaker, Miss Felicia Booth. Hi, right, good afternoon, everyone. Are you guys hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing. We are hearing. All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Felisa Booth. I'm the assistant grade 11 rep. I'm also deputy chairman for the welfare committee. I am honored to be presenting our keynote speaker, who is a past student of the Frankfurt High School. She attended Frankfurt from 2012 to 2018. She's hardworking, self-motivated, and determined. Currently, she's an entrepreneur and is looking forward to complete her Bachelor's of Science in Nursing in the near future. While she was attending Frankfurt, she was a member of various clubs, including Environmental Club and 4-H Club. In 2014, she became a member of the Students Council, the Vice President in 2015. 2016 to 2017, she served as the President of the Student Council at Frankfurt. She also represented her school at the regional level in 2016, where she was the vice president of the National Secondary Student Council, NSSC. She enjoys DIY projects, organizing and playing tennis. Her favorite quote is, be the person who stays strong, even when you have all the reasons to break down. Please help me welcome Ms. Davin Scott. And again, happy Teacher's Day. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I do hope all is well. Congratulations to all my teachers that were awarded earlier on. It was well deserved. I want to take the time out to wish all my Frankfurt High School teachers a happy Teacher's Day. And I do hope you all are having an amazing day. You are loved and you are appreciated. As the student leaders celebrate Teacher's Day under the theme, Teachers Leading in Crisis, Reimagining the Future. We now see that our teachers are working even harder than before, right? They are faced with so many challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. But I just want to say thank you to all my teachers for the work that you have done and the work that you continue to do. Our teachers at Frankfurt, they will go above and beyond for the students of Frankfurt High School so they are on the level they ought to be. I do encourage my teachers to protect their minds. Protect your minds, teacher. Take a break, get some fresh air, recuperate and go at it again. Because when you go at it again, you will come up with so many creative ideas and so many new stuff that will benefit both you and your students. Sometimes it's just a quick break that can give you that push. Frank Court High School do have some very passionate teachers. They, I remember in my last two years of high school, I was faced with so many challenges. I was trying to balance school along with leadership position, representing the school here and there, but it's mostly my teachers who motivate me and telling me that Davin, you can do it. And even teachers that haven't taught me were there in my, my ears telling me that, that means you can do it. And that's just the energy you get from Frankfurt teachers. Whether or not they teach you, they will be there as your support. I see my Frankfurt teachers as my second parents. The discipline that they instill in me, I still use in my day-to-day -day life. I am going through challenges now and so forth, but my friend court teachers tell me that no matter how life comes at you, you can do it. And me being that mean I face challenges, but I'm not where, I'm, where I want to be. And because of my friend court teachers, they want to see me win. So one day I will get to wear I and they want me to go, right? The other day I was praying and I was talking to the Lord, um, you know, saying, God, all the challenges that I face, all the obstacles that are coming at me at this time. And after, after I finished praying, I started to scroll through my phone and I saw this quote. It was mentioned earlier in my introduction. It says, the person who stays strong even when you have all reasons to break down. And this becomes one of my favorite quotes now because sometimes when we face challenges, the first thing it's easy to say, you know what, I'm going to give up, but don't break down. This pandemic, it hits, it hits us out of nowhere. It divides our nation where it shows us essential workers from non-essential workers. But we can now see and we understand that teachers are one of our top tier groups that we cannot do without. Our teachers are very essential. I state the quote before to say that teachers, no matter how hard the job gets, don't break down. Don't stop teaching because you have a purpose. You have a reason why you are in teaching. Don't give up. I can't emphasize enough. 
We cannot do without our teachers. You are all special in your own unique ways. You have impacted persons and students differently. You even have different methods of teaching. But at the end of the day, you are all leaders. Hardworking, committed, thoughtful, supportive, understanding, awesome, blessed, caring, and the list goes on. To Mr. Thomas and the Frankfurt High School teachers, both old and new, keep up the good work. Continue to be who you are. Because without teachers in this crisis, we would have a very dull future. Thank you to the Students Council for inviting me here today to allow me to share my appreciation to my teachers. I just want to close with a quote by John C. Maxwell. It states, students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I will say it again. Students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I just want to say once again, congratulations to all my teachers that were awarded and happy Teachers Day again. Please do have yourself a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Scott. Um, so lovely to have you back, um, our president some time ago. All right, so I won't chat, but you know, that was a well done speech, short and spicy. And from she paraphrasing greats like John Maxwell, you know, it's a wonderful speech. I won't bore you, I allow our very own, our faculty advisor, Mr. Cornel Brown, to come and do the vote of thanks on behalf of the academic staff he is representing on the council. All right, so if everybody is hearing me, I'm just gonna ask you guys to type in the chat, I am a big deal. All right, awesome. Now, good afternoon, everyone. Before I begin, I must say, Happy Teacher's Day to my colleagues. You are a big deal. To the Student Council, I would like to thank you for taking the time out to show us, your teachers, your appreciation. Oftentimes, us as your teachers would have to adapt and adjust or to go above and beyond to face and conquer the many challenges that you, our students, would have encountered. And to see that you have taken the time out to thank us, it is really appreciated. One thing that I've learned from the student council body as the staff advisor is that through their determination, they are a persistent, resilient, and an excellent student council. I would also like to extend the thanks to the guest speaker for taking the time out to also share your appreciation. On behalf of my colleagues and I, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, our staff advisor. That was Mr. Brown. Um, I think that is it for uh, our a little give back to our teachers. Uh, I am glad, I'm glad and I'm grateful that everyone took the time out of their busy schedule to be here. Um, it is the job of the students to actually make the teachers feel at home. I was saying to a teacher this morning that I know it's bad. I know it's bad to have teachers day just once a year, but we want to actually make you feel appreciated that you feel it even when we forgot to tell you. All right, so again, happy Teacher's Day, one and all. We love you so much. Uh, I think you guys can, you know, 
Axmus uh, Atamas for your certificates. Uh, they were done. I'm going to use this time to actually thank everyone who actually, <laughs> everyone who actually helped behind the scenes directly and indirectly. Um, you guys did well, sleepless nights as always. Um, I'm thankful to persons who are student counselors, non-student counselors, everyone that assisted. Thank you so much. Um, this is where the current is of John and I'm thanking you. It has been a pleasure to be your moderator half the way. Uh, again, happy Teacher's Day and by way of announcement, um, the student council will be having a great quiz sometime soon. So we ask that you, you know, select persons to be a part of the team. It's good to train the, the, the students from their young. So please, I ask that you cooperate and, you know, again, off topic again, the student council is here for you. Um, not only students, because you are indirectly, you know, connected to students. So thank you so much for, thank you is not even enough. Thank you so much, guys. And um, sorry, Mr. Hills, we don't have any food, but hopefully next year again, on a day like today, the counselor, the head students will actually be putting on something like this for you all. So again, happy Teacher's Day. Thank you all for coming out and stay safe. Signing off.